welcome back to my channel if you are new actually welcome but let's get straight into it my brows were already done off camera with the wonderful elmer's glue it's in a lot of my other videos but i went ahead and started priming my lids with an elf concealer i usually use my l'oreal concealer but you gotta work with what you got okay so i am using the me myself and mitchell palette today i'm going in with this light beige kind of color it's like a yellow undertone and i'm just setting underneath my brow because i don't like that bright concealer look underneath my brows um because i don't really clean them with concealer too much but the look i'm doing today is going to be a cut crease with a duo chrome flake from mona labelle and then a liner as well so i'm going ahead and creating that cut crease shape with a dark brown and then i did want to just make sure that there was no patchy spots so i do you know focus a lot with the deep brown um but once i see that i like it like it's a good even little coat and there's no little gaps missing any pigment then i go ahead and kind of go around the edges and just buff it out a little bit a tiny bit um, it helps to also clean this brush in the middle of the process just to make sure it's not adding that dark brown all over and just buffing out the edges um i kind of i like to do both of my eyes at the same time i used to do one eye at a time but it was so much more time consuming than this also while i was recording we had like a mini earthquake um shout out to california if you know you know but um i had to re-record my beginning twice because it was literally sort of shaking but anyways i'm going right back in with a medium brown right on top of the dark brown because we are going to add that depth back afterwards however this just helps to give you like kind of three different shades instead of two different shades um so i'm going um about 50 50 50 percent off the color and above of it or above it and then 50 percent on top of it and then i'll just go back in with my brown um my dark brown after this so don't be like don't be worried about losing that depth for a little bit it actually helps it look a little bit more blended when you do go directly on top of it um it just makes it look a little bit smoother so that's what i like to do and then i will go in with that yellow tone underneath my brows again just to even out everything on top of all of these colors i've been adding that medium brown that dark brown um and just to make sure everything looks blended in i have super crazy ocd when it comes to my eyeshadow um if i do something on one eye i have to do it to the other that's just how my brain works i don't know why i'm like this but it is what it is so like i said going in with that light beige color and i'm just pretty much evening out everything making sure nothing looks crazy on top and everything has a little seamless blend to it um softening everything up and then like i mentioned before you will go back in with that deep brown this is all from one palette by the way um but yeah so after i went in with that deep brown i started cutting my crease and this is with that elf concealer i like to do that little dragging technique so i get a good amount like a decent amount of concealer on a brush on a flat brush this is specifically a painting brush from either joann's or michael's i don't remember at this point um but it, it's just it's super precise and yeah it looks exactly like this i don't know if you if you are interested in it i don't even know if it has a number on it but i'll look but anyways yeah i like to use this brush because compared to any other concealer brush this has just worked a million times better it's a lot more precise and thin um it's a really really bomb brush but anyways the elf concealer is my favorite to cut the crease with especially because it does dry really quick which is usually the people that i have talked to that don't like the elf concealer that's usually their hesitation about it um is that it dries too quick so if that's how you feel about it it is a really good concealer for a cut crease because that's the problem with cut creases sometimes concealers or pigments they don't dry quick enough and then we look up and it's just it's messy or whatever so that's why i like to use this one and it has good coverage for the lids too so sometimes you don't even have to set it um you can just go right in and you know make it happen so yeah this is what i did i cut my crease and then i like to just drag it down and kind of i like i said i'm super ocd when it comes to stuff like this so this is me double checking everything looks even and it didn't so i went back in and did that inner corner one more time and just probably lifted up the top uh, after i was been feeling filming but uh, this is why makeup takes me like two hours i literally have been obsessed with with the show trading spouses it's an old show from like the 2000s and 
it's like two hour episodes on youtube but i've been watching them like non-stop i just be taking my sweet time doing my makeup watching these two hour episodes and they're like all the throwback commercials too so it's like super nostalgic watching those shows but anyways i went ahead and set the top of my lid i am using a translucent powder um i didn't want it to be super crazy pigmented so i'm just doing this but after this i did go back in with like a deep brown and just kind of cleaned up that cut crease a little bit because i did get a little bit of light powder on it as you can see um and just it wasn't set to my standards i didn't you know I, like i mentioned a million times already i just have this thing in my brain like if something looks off i have to fix it i can't just leave it like that and be satisfied i have to fix it so that's what i did and i always want to make sure that this is even the eyeshadow on top it looks crazy when there's little patches missing i am gonna go in now with the mona labelle duo chrome flakes this is the, the shade i guess not style i'm so used to saying style for lashes pressure um and then this is the duo glue the green one this is a clear glue i'm adding it in sections so i mean you could go throughout the entire cut crease but it's easier to work in sections i don't know that's just how i do it let it dry and get tacky don't go right it um in while it's wet because that's just going to get it everywhere once it's tacky it's just going to sit there and then whatever you put on top is going to stick And now again, new section. I disappeared for a minute and I just had to let you guys watch it and just stick with me. But aren't these duo chrome flakes so pretty? Like, look at that reflection. It's just so nice. So I'm obsessed with these. I think um, pressure and exposed are my top two. I got to try the third one. I just haven't thought of a look that, you know, would be, would be spicy enough for it. So I'm going to come up with something though um hopefully maybe i'll make that my new goal for my next week's video but look how beautiful that looks on my cut crease amazing so shout out to mona labelle um i am gonna go in now with the nyx epic ink liner in the shade brown i did want to keep this like a neutral brown um look i was gonna go ori originally with a black eyeliner but i felt like the brown was a little bit more su suiting suitable i don't know um i just thought it looked better so that's what I did. And I honestly, I lightened it up even a little bit more. Um, I think I did it off camera to be completely honest, but that's what happened. I just didn't want it to be super dark. I wanted a nice like brown monochrome kind of moment. But yeah, so this is me taking my sweet time with the liner. This is why I always love my wings. I don't brush. I don't restyle like i literally am a perfectionist when it comes to wings and i will match the other eye like no doubt so this is this is me taking my sweet time but and i also learned that putting that little corner further out on the edge of your eye always makes your eyes look bigger so that's what i did so i did that intentionally um now i'm going in with my charlotte tilbury foundation in the shade number five i believe um not important though because if you're not my shade it don't even matter but anyways it's a really good foundation i love the formula it's a matte finish foundation i'm sorry i just like hella randomly just got the hiccups out of nowhere i don't know what just happened but anyways i'm going in with this foundation with a brush um i prefer to use a beauty blender but instead i i just wanted to you know switch it up a little bit and do it with the brush and then blend it out and buff it out with a beauty blender so that's what i did all right now i'm going in with my bare mineral stick foundation in the shade sienna and i'm buffing it out with the beauty blender the original beauty blender because i don't know any other type of beauty blender that works the same okay so now i'm going in with my elf concealer in a very 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 bright color um i never really realized how bright it was i guess i really like that look um but for some reason it just looks hella bright right now but anyways it blends out really pretty and it also oxidizes a little bit especially when you set it with a powder it kind of mutes it down a little tiny bit but also i really do like that brightening look especially 
when I'm doing blush or pink blush, especially that pink blush. The bright under eye, oh, hold on, I just got myself started. The bright under eye with a pink blush is like the best little dynamic duo. But anyways, this is me setting my eye with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting powder micro powder and this is one of my favorite face powders i literally bought the medium shade for my whole face and the fair shade for just under my eyes because i think it's just such a pretty powder it makes everything all blurred and pretty um take a shot whenever you hear me say the word pretty but anyways i like to also use it underneath my contour before i do my powder contour um just to like blur it out a little bit but also to just kind of brighten underneath there this is the shade fair as well um and then the drill you know the drill contour my nose before any powder contour i mean powder contour powder blush or any other powder products go on my face i always contour my nose so i do light to dark i highlight the tip the bridge and then i go in with the contour shades and do highlight tip the bridge again and then i like to just cut the sides a little bit um and let it bake because while it looks super dramatic, that was not me picking my nose, my nose itched, okay? But while it looks super dramatic like this, once you buff it out and use a little brush to kind of just blend it all together, it doesn't look that pigmented. Now I'm going in with the Pink Leaf Cosmetics Roll Up and Glow Up Palette and just doing my powder contour. Um, I realize now I might need to do another color match on my foundation, but we're not going to talk about that. And I'm going to go in with some pink blush. This is that pink blush I was talking about. I chose to go with pink today. Usually I do like a salmon or an orange color. I chose to do pink because in those dual chrome flakes, I don't know if you can see it, which I definitely can, there is a pink undertone to them. So when I do something like that in my eyes, I usually go and do a monochromatic look. Um, if I do a nude, that's usually kind of like a peachy color. I'll switch it up and do a light pink. That's just my my brain, how it coordinates certain things with certain things. That's just how I work. Then I'm spraying my face with the most amazing setting spray ever, Charlotte Tilbury. And then going in with the Mute Maven or Maven. I have to double check how you say that because if I've been saying it wrong, I'm embarrassed for myself. This style is savage. These are beautiful, full looks. Literally so long lashes. Um, but you know me. I love my long lashes. I got no shame in my game. But like I said, um, these lashes are very full, very long, very pretty. So shout out to this company because when they sent me products, they actually sent me a nice little range. They got some like in the middle, which is the one I used for my last video, the style cash. And then another one that's a little bit less um, full in volume. So it's good. I love when a company really gives me range to work with, especially because little tiny baby lashes they just don't work with all my looks and i'm really grateful for free product it's just sometimes like you know it's nice when a company just gives you options rather than just like forcing you to have one thing to work with and make it work like which i will always make work okay don't get me wrong but and this is how it came out okay i'm obsessed i know the camera really didn't do this look justice i you're gonna just have to believe me here because as I'm looking at this look, literally I'm looking at myself right there in the mirror, it's hitting different, really different. The dual chrome flakes really look bomb in low light, especially, and these ring lights are super bright, so they do look really pretty on camera, but you just gotta see it in person. It's just a million times better, okay? So shout out to Mona LaBelle, a bomb company, bomb owner, and bomb products, so that's fire. Um, if you like this video, leave it a like, leave a like, okay? I really do appreciate that. It helps me out a lot. And also, if you aren't subscribed and you watch my videos, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, you know, yeah, I appreciate every single one of you who got this far and every single one of you that actually tune into my videos. I can't express it enough. So thank you. I hope you guys have an amazing week and stay safe. Bye.